something very interesting happens when we have styles in both the header and in line. Now, if we take a look at our web page, I've made a slight modification to it. In the header, I've said to use cursive as our font family. And you'll notice that on our heading three headings, we have this unique style. And because it's in the header that I define the style, it should be global throughout my document. But as I move down past Amendment 5, Amendment 6 has a completely different style. Why is that? Well, very simply, if we go back to our source code and we scan down to our H3 heading, for Amendment 5, and I'm almost there, here we go, we have, we still have an inline style there specifying Arial as the font family. That's why this one looks different. Now, what this means is that an inline style has more power in its vicinity than the header style. So we can set one style in our header and override it whenever we wish with an inline style. Something for you to think about.